GB News presenter Eamon Holmes launched into a rant against the Sussexes when it was confirmed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be addressing the United Nations in New York next week. The former royals will touch on the current dangers of climate change during the visit, but Eamon was confused as to why the couple had been invited in the first place. Eamon insisted Harry and Meghan were the wrong people for the job after confirming their forthcoming visit to the UN. On Tuesday, it was confirmed Harry would deliver a speech on climate change and world hunger in the couple's first public appearance since the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. However, the GB News presenter argued the controversial royals didn't have the authority to tackle such pressing global issues. He opened the segment, How has Prince Harry been invited to the United Nations? Eamon and his co-host Isabel Webster spoke to expert Katie Nichol on their breakfast show for her insight on the latest royal stories. Katie quipped, I knew this was going to irritate you greatly. I'm just saying, what qualifies him to address the United Nations? Eamon grilled the reporter, well, he's a former member of the royal family, isn't he? Katie argued, he's a name. Eamon spoke over the GB News guest as he continued to insist he wasn't the right person to make the address. What's he got to say that will change the world, or influence the world? He retorted. Despite his royal credentials, Eamon was convinced Harry doesn't have the qualifications needed to give his thoughts on such crucial topics. Katie argued back, joking aside, I think if climate change is on the agenda, then Harry is probably going to be pretty impressive on that front. The royal commentator recalled the Sussex previous statements on the COVID pandemic, in which they fought for a more universal vaccine. Whether they like him or not, over there in America they do tend to listen to him, she added. However, Eamon shot back, my problem with this is, fine if he's got a message on climate change, on poverty or goodness knows what. Or is he there as a showpiece, or profile, or shining a spotlight on the Archwell Foundation? He's either in favor of all these things or he's there as a business.